Last time on Left Behind. You the Hattie Durham everybody's been talking about? Yeah. Well, no offense, lady, but from what I've heard about you, I really didn't expect to see a mark on your forehead. And David says the GC is going to try out the mark on prisoners first. Please, the women, they don't deserve any... Silence! What you deserve will be decided by the global community. And if you resist, you will be shot. Get him out of my sight! We'll see if you're as strong when you face the guillotine, Zeke! Based on The Mark, the eighth book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents Episode 90 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. We have the room. It's just... It's just what? If all four of you come to Chicago, I wonder if that's the best use of our resources. That's a valid question, but to be honest, we could use the downtime, Ray. It's been pretty crazy around here, you know? And now with Annie's death... Okay. Look, you just get here in one piece and we'll take it from there. All right? I'm, I'm being paged, Ray. I'll, I'll have to call you back. Yeah, yeah, I've got another call coming in myself. Uh, take care, David. Thanks, Ray. Hello? Hello? Uh, Rayford, is that you? Lucas? Yes. It's, uh, it's good to hear from you. I... I'm afraid I have terrible news. My wife and Pastor Demeter. You met him while you were here? I, I remember Demetrius. What happened? They have been detained by the global community. What? Arrested. I was unable to go to the meeting, and my wife did not come home. Oh. I almost went to look for her. I would have been captured myself if a friend had not stopped me and told me what had happened. Tell me what I can do. Of course, pray. And if you know of anyone who could get them released, it's quite a bit to ask, but I would be most appreciative. I have a contact in New Babylon. We'll see what we can do. Thank you, Rafer. Thank you. And above all, pray for us. Of course. Director. I heard a page for me? Oh, yes, sir. The Supreme Commander is waiting for you in the conference room. <coughs> Watch your step. Okay, thank you. Hey, David, David, hurry, come on in. Yeah, I want to keep the door closed. You know, keep the dust out? Yes, sir. He is risen, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, indeed. Yeah, got a, got a meeting coming up with the big guys, and I'd rather not go in there unprepared. So we all up to date, up to snuff, on track, on target, huh? All of the above, I guess. Yeah? So w- what are we talking about? Guillotines, syringes... The company line calls them loyalty enforcement facilitators and biochip injectors. Yeah, 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 thanks. I knew Viv had some special names for those, yeah. Okay, so where are we on this stuff? What, what can I tell him? Oh, that we're on track, on pace, on target, up to snuff. Good, good. So I can count on you having it covered? Sure, G- I'm Supreme Commander. Oh, uh, you can call me Commander when it's just you and me. Keep it formal and public, of course. The title's very important, sir. Yeah, but by the way... Do you purchase livestock, too? You mean foodstuffs? Oh, that would be sensible. No, 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 no. I I don't need food. I need a live animal. A pig, actually. Uh, A pig, sir? Yeah, the bigger the better, Hasid. I have no idea. Of course, I could look into it, Oh, good, good. I knew I could count on you. Hey, let me know the first thing in the morning, because, um... The word I get is, the big man's gonna assign me that one today. You haven't been assigned it yet? No, no, no. This is what you call a heads up from a colleague who cares. Guy like me tends to accumulate friends all up and down the corporate ladder. Mm. Buddy told me today he was in on a meeting with Fortunato and Carp... I mean, well, you know, he says they're agitated about the Judites. You know who they are? I've heard of them, sir. Okay, well, their top guy is turning out more and more of this anti nikolai Carpathia stuff everywhere. He's predicting his excellency, imagine this, is going to defile the temple and sacrifice a pig on the altar. You 
don't say. I do say. I'll do my best, sir. And just so we're clear, I want a pig. Ready for this? Big enough for His Excellency to ride. To ride? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to score a few points here. Come on, I, I want to suggest that if His uh, His Excellency is going to take this in-your-face approach, mm-hmm. he got to ride that porker right in the front door. It's uh, got a touch of drama to it, huh? Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my is right. to see. Look, you, you read the Bible? Some. Well, isn't there a story about um, Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey and people singing and throwing leaves and whatnot? I was raised Jewish, sir. Oh, so no New Testament for you. Got it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that that's the way it goes. Now, picture His Excellency having fun with that. <laughs> we'll even pay people to sing and throw stuff. Top shelf, huh? Top shelf, sir. I heard you rattling around in here, Doctor. You all right? I I don't know, my friend. What are you doing up at this hour? I could ask you the same question. I'm I'm wrestling with a uh, with a decision, I guess. Same here. <laughs> Pull up a chair. You don't mind? You know my culture. Talk is what we do. <laughs> Good enough. What uh, are we grappling with tonight? There's been a skirmish in Greece. The GC have arrested a number of believers. Some we know. Tion says it will get worse. I don't know whether I should go over there, maybe send someone, or if we can even do anything about it. The risk sounds great, but our entire existence now is risk, isn't it? What's on your mind? You seem... No, no, no. Talk to me. I have lost so much. My, my family, my staff, and, and it, is, it is all my fault. We've all lost much. Two wives and a son for me. Many friends. Too many to think about. If I do, I start going crazy. That is my problem, Rickford. I have gone nearly mad with grief, and, and then there's remorse. I murdered a man! Think of it! Antichrist! And no, it makes no difference! I stoop to... to... assassination! I understand rage, Doctor. I wanted to murder Nikolai Carpathia myself, and I knew exactly who he was and that he would not stay dead. But I premeditated it, planned it many, many months in advance, faked a stroke just to get myself in in proximity to him, then finished the job exactly, exactly as I had envisioned it. I... I... I am... A murderer. A murderer. Do you understand? You know, I almost saved you the work. What? What do you mean? You heard a gunshot before you attacked Carpathia. Yes. My gun. What? It's true. I... I don't believe you. I bought a black market handgun called a saber. I was just as determined as you to do the deed. Ah, the irony. What do you mean? The two people who dared attack Nikolai are in the same room. (laughs) Pretty exclusive club. But in the end, you could not do it. I, I did it with enthusiasm. I was glad. Now, now I suffer such regret and shame. I... I can barely breathe. Can you take no solace in the fact that this was destined? Solace? (laughs) Solace? I would give all I own for a moment of of peace. It isn't whom I did this to. It is that I did it. I've taken a journey inside my soul and discovered pure darkness. And yet God has saved you. And yet God has saved me. (laughs) Miraculous stuff, huh? Tell me, is is one supposed to feel forgiven? Just because you feel guilty 
doesn't mean God hasn't absolved you. Tion is proposing this notion that I just might be the one to lead my countrymen to safety from Antichrist. How could I possibly do such a thing when I'm so wrenched with guilt? Who, who am I? A, a scientist. I'm not eloquent. I don't know the word of God. I, I barely know the author. My days as a religious Jew can, can be counted on one hand. Yet as a child, you must have been exposed to the Torah. Of course. So you recall the burning bush? No one will ever see me as Moses. <laughs> as I recall, Moses had his PR problems along the way. Important thing was, when God said go, he went. Uh, it's just a question of whether you're willing. I want to be willing. I, I am willing to be willing. Well, there you go. That's a start. And my guess is it's Ptolemy. The underground's pretty big there. Greece is a hot button right now for Tarpathia. Let me check into it and see what I can find. Thanks, David. Dad, I think you'll want to see this. You all right? Come on. Fortunato's talking about the Carpathia statues. I guess there's a competition to see which region can get theirs finished first. Wonder if he'll be able to make those talk like he did the one in New Babylon. Me to announce that he knows he has devout followers in the capital of the Holy Land. Sounds like they expect some opposition. Within two we can days, only hope. all statues must be completed and accessible for worship. And as you know, the first one oh, of the cities with finished and approved units it. will be the first to be awarded loyalty mark application centers. And yes, we will have loyalty enforcement facilitators at every mark application site for those who lack loyalty. Bless you, my friends. In the name of our risen Lord and Master, his Would you look at that. The, the new symbol of peace and tolerance. Nikolai the guillotine. Yes, and, uh, please let me know when you could deliver something that large. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, this is David. David, it's Ming Doi. Oh, Ming! Hey, are you all right? Yes. I, I heard of your loss. I'm so sorry. I cannot imagine your pain. Well, thank you. That really means a lot. Mr. Hasid, have you seen my family since I left there? No, I, I thought they'd be gone by now. They have been awarded free accommodations until Chang has been processed for employment. Hmm. My father is thrilled, but Chang is desperate. It's the last thing he wants. Well, maybe you should just tell your dad the truth. No! Father would report him, and he would demand to know about Are me. Are you sure about that? Trust me, Mr. Hasid. I know my father. That's pretty sad. That is my family. Okay, so what's Chen gonna do? I do not say this without having given it extensive thought. You are my only hope, Mr. Hasid. Really a no-brainer. It's not a question of whether we'll hire him, it's which department. The line's out the door on this kid. I suppose you want him to? No, I can't say for sure. I'm just wondering. Your area makes the most sense. Now, just because everybody wants him doesn't mean I should snag him. True, but he'd be an asset. Well, what's next? It's in his court. He completes the paperwork, makes his app official, and we make an offer. And if he accepts? He's done. He's in. You don't want him to graduate from high school first? Oh, he could teach high school, sir. Well, would I be able to do a preliminary? Interview? Hmm. It's not typical, but... I don't see the harm. Where's he staying? Uh, building C-4054. All right, thanks. All right, Director. Any bleeding or pain in this area? No, I'm fine. Listen, we have to talk. Then let's get those stitches out. Follow me. Did you know the Wongs are staying on your floor? Who are the Wongs? Well, the father is a Carpathia supporter like you wouldn't believe, but their son and daughter are believers. She's at Buffer, he's here, just down the hall from you. Daddy's shoving him into employment and the mark. Mm, ouch. So what happens if a believer gets tagged? I'm not sure. Is there a plan for me? Well, kind of. Well, what are you going to do? Bug their room. You can do that? Ow! Oh, hold still. 
Gosh, that stuff's supposed to make it easier? We tell ourselves that. Fortunately, you had a good surgeon. Oh, yeah, it was me. <laughs> okay, so you bug the room. Then what? Well, that will give us clues on timing. Maybe an idea or two. Beyond that, we mess around with the personnel process. Slow it up if we can. Th- that's it? That's all we got here? Well, everything's moving really fast around here lately. Strategic thinking is becoming like a luxury. Then why don't we just think about freedom? About being away from here forever? You think being away from here means freedom? Come on! It has to mean less tension, at the very least, don't you think? Yeah, you trade one tension for another, I guess. Ow! (sighs) Sorry. Physical distance from the enemy typically lessens the risk, real or perceived, That's Anna. That's kind of what I was thinking. But we'll never be free again. We'll be fugitives looking over our shoulders any time we venture out, concerned about new cracks in our email security, new resources for phone traces, new heat-sensitive satellite imagery. And if we unplug here and disappear, then they have far more resources to find us than we have to hide from them. <sighs> My, aren't we, Mr. Gloomy? I'm just calling it like I see it. Sounds like you've already ash-canned my idea. The plane crash? Uh, Actually, no, I assigned it to Mac and Abdullah. Why? Because if it works, no one's even looking for us. We get new IDs, change our looks, and start over. Yeah, but without the loyalty mark. Yes, there is that. I I need to take out the staples. This could take a while. Well, can you talk while you work? Sure. Well, then tell me your story while you do this, will you? Um, stories longer than the procedure, David. I'd hate to have you rush. Gentlemen, please, come in. Come in. Allow me to be the first to kneel before you and kiss your hand. Oh, thank you, Reverend. But you are hardly the first. <laughs> I mean at this meeting, so oh. he won't be the last. <laughs> thank you, Supreme Commander. Thank you. Chief Akbar, thank you. Chief Moon, my thanks. Sir, have you been able to sleep, uh, get some rest? You are worried about me, Reverend? Of course, Excellency. Sleep is for mortals, my friend. (laughs) Well spoken, (laughs) sir. I'm sure mortal. Slept like a rock last night. Out of shape, I guess. Gotta do something about this gut. Right. Right. May we begin? Chief Akbar. I am convinced the location of our nuclear armaments remains confidential. Uh, Would you concur? Uh, Yes, though I confess it baffles me. Mm. Baffles is right. Seems to me we had hundreds of troops involved in this... um, uh, Sorry. uh, I'll I'll wait my turn. Peacekeeping forces are prepared to go on the offensive, Chief Moon? Yes, sir. Good. Ready to deploy anywhere, any time we can crush any resistance. Good, good. An update, Reverend? On loyalty marks, Jerusalem, religion... Jerusalem, of course. All under control, Excellency. Good. Program is prepared, loyalists ready, should be a triumphal entry in every sense of the word. <laughs> Commander Hickman, you may put down your hand. You need not ask for the floor here. Uh, I can just jump in? No! You cannot just jump in. When I want your input, I shall call on you. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. No need to apologize. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Mr. Akbar, Mr. Moon, what kind of resistance may we expect in Jerusalem? Hmm? Oh, come, come, gentlemen. (laughs) I had a planet to rule. Frankly, potentate, I don't believe the Judites will show their faces. (laughs) <laughs> I assume that because they have seen a real resurrection, one that does not require blind faith, we can expect, uh, what, fragmentation, dissension, and mass reduction in the numbers? Mm. You'll pardon me for saying, Excellency, but our monitoring shows they're even more entrenched. Insolence! Mm. Forgive me, Holiness. You understand that I am merely reporting what my best analysts... I know have... that! What will it take to prove to these people who is worthy of their devotion? Perhaps these folks are weak-minded. Understatement. All right. So you think they will just snipe at us from the comfort of their hiding places? Correct, sir. Any confirmation that they are harboring Rosenzweig? We continue to trace a few leads from people who thought they saw him running, taking a taxi. We know for sure the stroke was a ruse. Oh, really? You think so, Walter? Um, sir, I am um, not second-guessing you. No, but, please, Walter. Well, you did pardon your attacker, maybe before you knew who he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you do not think I knew who murdered me. 
A gunshot rings out. He chops my feet from under me with that, that wheelchair. And the next thing I know, I am in the lap of a madman. I knew instantly what was happening, though I may never know why. He was no frail old man. He rammed that blade into me, and I could hear him gutting my skull. I pardoned him, knowing that a world of loyal subjects would relish avenging me, should he ever show his face. Uh, needless to say, we shall not prosecute a crime when that event occurs. Needless to say. <clears throat> and uh, where are we with the accomplice? Uh, the gunner was likely not Middle Eastern. Hmm. Found his get-up and the weapon. Ballistics matched the gun to the bullet. No prints, no solid leads. You refer to him as the accomplice. You're convinced they were working together? Convinced? I am not the law enforcement expert here, mm. but uh, the timing of those two attacks was just a little too coincidental. Would you not agree? Well, I would. I worked that case, and I figure out they were hedging their bets. If one of them didn't get you, the other one would. Guy with the gun could have been a diversion, but he's lucky he didn't kill anybody. <clears throat> You're aware there's a connection between Ben Judah and Rosenzweig, hmm? Tell me. Ben Judah was once a student of Rosenzweig's. You don't say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find Ben Judah and you find Rosenzweig. That's what I'm thinking. <sighs> James, I'm ready for your report. Me? Oh, good. Okay. Uh, well, everything's on track. Good. Injector thingies, beheaders. Uh, oh, just a minute. Well, Viv, uh, Miss Ivans gave me the correct terminology here. Loyalty confirmation facilitators. facilitators. Yeah, I got those coming. Or going, dependent, huh? Okay, so they're on their way wherever we need them. And I found a nurse here that has experience shooting biochips into, well, dogs, I guess. But uh, she's going to help train. Oh, I've got a lead on your pig. My pig? Oh, well, I mean, there's just um, uh, this butcher, if he may need it, and he could use it there. But if, if you needed a pig, oh, I'm pretty sure we've got one ordered. Big one. Why would I order a pig, James? Well, hey, it's not that I heard or, or, or knew, but I mean that if you actually did need a pig, but it, if, if you ever did, just, just whoa, hey, you let me know, all right? Quiet. Who have you been talking to, Commander? Been talking to? Mr. What? Hickman, what is said in these meetings in my private office is sacred. Do you understand me? Yes, sir, I would never... Sacred! The security of the global community depends on the confidentiality of the communications here. Someone told you there was a discussion in this room about my need for a pig. Well, I'd rather not. Oh, yes, you had rather, Mr. Hickman. Violating the sacred trust of the potentate is a capital offense. Is it not, Mr. Moore? Yes, sir, it is. So, James, the next thing out of your mouth had better be the guilty party or uh, you will pay the ultimate price for the transgression. The name, Commander! <laughs> and if I hear some disjointed, pedantic discourse about how the leak emanates from a friend who deserves a second chance, or um, from your mother who is suffering from lumbago, or anything other than the first and last name, you are a dead man! Have I made myself clear? <gasps> Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is based in part on the book The Mark by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins and has been adapted for radio by Chris Fabry, music by Steve Wick, sound design by Glenn West, directed and produced by Todd Bastide. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.